What is going on YouTube? Lamont on the run today coming to you from Motel 6 in Van Buren, Arkansas. I've been staying at this place for about three days now. Kind of just needed to get up from out of the humidity. It was like 95 degrees every day for the last three, four days just organizing my stuff so I needed to get a room so I could just throw everything in there and see what I can get rid of and what I should keep it is also my goal to one day eat at a western sizzlin and I want to do a review hopefully we'll do it very soon let's get into this story today so uh, this is a feel-good story because it has a good ending and the ending is somebody going to prison for five years and they truly, truly deserve it. Uh, this is Nathaniel Walter Radamack, 36 years of age. He's known as the Tesla road rage guy. So between uh, 2022 and 2023, uh, several videos online that went viral show this maniac driving around in a charcoal gray colored 2022 Tesla Model X being involved in several different uh, road rage incidents. Uh, lots of videos online of this character, this clown, where uh, he would basically just assault people. So he was convicted uh, recently and sentenced to five years in prison for, uh, amongst his many charges, uh, criminal threats, assault, and elder abuse. So this guy, uh, his video went viral last year and everybody was looking for him. All of the Southern California law enforcement agencies were looking for this clown. And eventually on January 23rd of 2023, he was arrested and uh, his bail was set at $5 million. So uh, they really, really wanted him behind bars. And uh, on top of that, he also had a separate case where in 2020, uh, when he was pulled over, uh, $30,000 in cash and steroids were found in his possession. So I guess they probably lumped that all in together and for the five years. So what's this guy's problem? A little bit of steroid rage or whatever? So one of the many incidences of him with his steroid rage uh, in one incident, he followed a couple in Pasadena and followed them to some business or a parking lot. And I guess they did something to him and he took out a took kind of a metal pole and struck their car multiple times. Uh, he threatened a 74 year old woman outside of a doctor's office in Glendale. And in uh, another incident at a storage facility in Atwater, uh, he got into an incident with a woman followed her on the freeway i guess there was traffic he got out and bashed her headlight in so this guy you know i just said those three different uh cities around los angeles so obviously this guy lives in the area uh northeast of la so get this this is this is the part where i don't understand about why women stay with abusive men i mean oftentimes i do see that you know, they're scared to leave them because they're going to threaten them and whatever. So a woman that this guy dated had filed a restraining order. Now, she said in an interview that uh, this guy, Nathaniel, was prone to violent outbursts. Gee, you think? Uh, said that he hit her several times, threatened to kill her and her entire family. And uh, one time when they got into a fight, uh, he went to... Her family's house, I guess she, you know, lived in a room with her family, took a baseball bat, started bashing the family's house right from the outside. Uh, on many different uh, occasions, he would uh, throw things at her. One occasion, he threw a milk crate. The other occasion, uh, he would throw uh, a, a just random, random objects. A bucket of water. Yes, yes, a bucket of water. I had to stop the video because my Lyft driver arrived to take me to go get my van. And this uh, unusual woman has been looking at me walking around the complex. I think she has mental problems. Anyways, getting back to this uh, 
goofy clown. So basically, this guy was a very abusive uh, prick boyfriend, and uh, he, he uh, one time chased her in her room and like punched holes in the wall. He threatened that he would beat her up so badly that she would be so disfigured that she wouldn't ever be able to be recognized ever again. I mean, th this guy, serious, serious mental problems. And guys like that, we definitely do not need in this uh, world, in uh, polite society, as I say. So good riddance to him. Uh, he's been locked up since January 2023. And since he got five years, California likes to change uh, how much time you have to do off a of violent crime. It used to be 85%. I think they lowered it now because it's just uh, too much overcrowding. I'm guessing he's gonna do about, uh, I'm guessing three and a half years. I'll uh, put it up on the screen if I find out like when his parole date is. He'll pro if he doesn't have any, well, he probably does have prior, so he may not make his first parole. And that depends on how his, uh, how he acts uh, in prison. So right now I'm on my way to go get some fuel stabilizer for my new generator. Yeah, I bought a uh, 2000 watt inverter Harbor. Well, actually, I had a, a warranty because my old one started uh, probably need, just needed a tune-up. But I don't work on stuff because I don't have time to touch things. And uh, I couldn't find a shop that wants to work on Chinese generators from Harbor Freight. So that'll be the last Harbor Freight generator I ever buy because the last uh, couple of them have not been really good to me. So, Anyways, so... Last thing before I leave, not going to be talking about Western Sizzling again, but um, I was, uh, I had dropped my van off in uh, Fort Smith and uh, got some airbags installed, some new, new shocks installed. And uh, I was just looking for a random quick story to do in Fort Smith and I looked up the unsolved murder of Melissa Witt. She was kidnapped from a bowling alley, what has it been, like 30 years ago? I was gonna do that video and then I went on YouTube to see uh, who's talked about it and it's just, uh, there's been way too many videos about it. And stories like that, when there's way too many videos on it, it doesn't really excite me. Not not saying a murder should excite me. Probably the wrong terminology, but uh, it, it doesn't uh, move me to go do the story. But however, I will do the story. Stories like that, if they're too talked about, which, you know, an unsolved murder is never too talked about. But, you know, I think you guys know what I'm saying. Uh, I'll either do a uh, future faces in death video or I'll do a dark side of Fort Smith. So uh, I will be coming back to Arkansas probably next year. Possibly. It depends because I think uh, I think after January, February, I think I'm going to head to the West Coast. And uh, I don't think I've stayed on the West Coast longer than maybe a month so maybe we'll uh, stay on the west coast for uh half of the year definitely gonna do los angeles and uh might even be looking for a, a, an apartment to sublet if anybody has any uh information on any places that i could sublet i prefer my own place uh email me at taco bell criminal at gmail.com Anyways, that's about it. So I'm going to go get me some fuel stabilizer, start up my generator, clean out my van, vacuum it, let my generator run to kind of break it in. And then uh, I'm going to go across the street, try to find the grave that I was looking for last time. And after that, uh, tomorrow I leave. I hit the road. Where am I going? I have no idea. I don't know where I'm going. I'm either going to Kansas City or Indianapolis. I mean, I'm, I'm going to Indianapolis, but I don't know if I want to stop at Kansas City. We'll see. All right, guys, be good. I'll catch up with you on the next video. Thank you for listening to me spiel on and on about nonsense. Peace out.